I did just five things to guarantee the success of my product, which has just generated £60,000 worth of revenue in just three months. What's going on guys, it's Jansen here again, back at you with another Amazon FBA video packed full of value. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the five different things that I made sure that I absolutely focused on when launching and selling my product, and the five areas that I think are so essential that you need to make sure that you smash as well if you are to be successful with Amazon FBA. So the first thing that I think is really, really important is that you need to make sure that your product and your offering to the customer is differentiated. There's absolutely no point in finding a product to sell and just literally basically copy and pasting somebody else's product and their listing and selling it as your own. Nowadays, because Amazon is just so successful, doing something like that, you're not going to succeed. There's so many people that message me online and say, Jansen, what do you think to this product? Do you think it'll sell well? And my question is always the same. Are you able to differentiate and offer the customer something different that they can't already get? And typically people say, well, no, I was just planning on selling something similar. You can't do that. Those days are over. Amazon's far too competitive. You need to make yourself stand out from the crowd and offer something different. Don't think that you can differentiate by just simply having a lower price. That's a technique that has been proven to not work and it just results in a race to the bottom. You'll find yourself up against two or three competitors and the price and the margins will just seriously plummet and you'll find yourself in a very unprofitable situation. So what you need to do is you need to put yourself in the customer's shoes and think, why should they pick you? Pretend you're the customer. What is it about you and your product and your listing that really stands out and that makes you the better offerings? So one thing that you can do to differentiate yourself is to simply bundle a product with your product. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is simply offer something for free that comes with your product. So as an example, if you're selling, say, a garlic press, just as a basic example, you could say with this garlic press, also you get free a potato peeler or something like that. And when the customer goes online to search for garlic press, they'll see numerous listings for the garlic press and then they'll see yours and it'll say garlic press comes with free potato peeler. So you're giving the customer a reason to choose you over other competitors. And the best thing about bundling is often you can charge a higher price resulting in higher margins for you and at the same time, the customer will think that they're getting a great deal. Now, the way that I differentiated with my product wasn't actually by bundling, but was more on design. When I was doing my product research, I saw uh, the product that I wanted to do, and it was the same listing over and over again, just with a different brand. The one thing that I didn't want to do was to replicate that. So when I went onto Alibaba to source a supplier, I had a look at a number of different listings, and I found a new listing with a slightly different design. The design had changed and I went with a risk there, but I truly believed that the design looked better and I thought it would give the customer a better proposition because the customer obviously wants a product that looks good. The second thing that I did was I made sure that my listing was absolutely optimized and was as high quality and professional as possible. Guys, we know how important doing things like keywords and listing optimization and things like that is, but don't forget that that is geared towards Amazon's algorithm in order to make sure that your listing ranks on page one. But remember, at the end of the day, it's a human that's reading your listing and that's making the decision to purchase. So you need to make sure that your listing and the pictures and um, everything about it are as user-friendly and clear and concise as possible. So make sure that your title, make sure that it is keyword optimized, it's got all the right keywords in, but make sure that it has what the product is, the purpose of it, and the benefits of it, all really clearly laid out. And that's the same for your listing and your bullet points as well. It needs to be clear and it needs to give the customer confidence as to why they should pick you. Now with my product, again, what I did is I made sure that the listing was really clear and outlined all of the benefits of my product and why they should pick me. With the pictures, I made sure that they were as high quality as possible. I used a really expensive camera. If you don't have one of those, I would seriously recommend hiring your own photographer and getting the best quality photos that show off all the benefits of the product 
as much as possible. And in addition to that, what I also did was I paid a designer to make me a really cool looking box. So design all the, the box art and make it look as professional as possible. Now that cost me a hundred pounds and at the time I thought that's quite a lot. But I'm telling you now, that has helped massively in the amount of conversion that I've seen. So the reason that the box art really helped me with my conversion is that customers were coming onto my listing and looking through my pictures, saw the box art, and I think that coupled with the high quality listing made them realize that this was a really high quality product sold by a professional company. And in addition to that, what I also did was instead of just referring to it as a box, I called it a gift box. So I said the product comes in a really nice gift box and that helped me so much in my Christmas sales because it made the customer, maybe if they were looking for the product for themselves, think, oh, this is perfect. I can also gift this to a family or friend member. So that's why making sure that your listing is as high quality as possible is so important and that you don't skimp on expenses. So if the supplier offers you, you know, lower quality pictures and low quality box art, don't do it just to save 20, 30, 40 pounds. Make sure you do everything properly. Remember guys, this is a real business and the benefits of investing at this stage will pay dividends. The third thing that I'd say is really, really important and definitely helped me to have a successful product was that I've got a brilliant communicative supplier. So initially on my very first order, after I'd sold about 100 units, I had a couple of customers email me and make suggestions about tweaks that could be made with the product. And what I did is I collated all the commentary and sent a message to my supplier, made a few suggestions about changes that could be made to the product, and they took all of that feedback on board so that when I made the second order, they'd implemented those changes, they'd made those changes on the product, which ultimately uh, enabled me to save money and get the unit price down a little. And in the end, it's not gone unnoticed. I've had customers buy the product and they've commented it in the reviews and in emails to me generally, just saying that they liked a particular feature of the product. So that's why I'd say it's so important to go with a good supplier. Don't always go for the one that's got the cheapest unit price because most probably the quality of the product isn't gonna be great and further down the line, you're gonna get bad reviews and your sales velocity is gonna drop and you'll probably end up losing money. So make sure you go with a supplier that you've got confidence in and one that you know will listen to your feedback and will be able to make changes to the product, whether cosmetically or just in terms of the features that it can do, which will ultimately result in you being able to increase the amount of sales that you've got and make sure that you can absolutely smash it. Now, the fourth thing that I did was I made it absolutely crystal clear on my listing and with my product that I was a small, independent, UK-based company with great customer care. And this is all about instilling confidence in the customer. Now, we all know that Amazon is full of Chinese manufacturers that ship the goods straight from uh, China or they ship it to Amazon FBA in order to get it shipped out. And typically, their English isn't great, the listing isn't great, uh, and it doesn't give you a great amount of confidence in the product. Well, it doesn't me anyway. So what I made sure I did on my listing is I made sure that I was very clear that I was a UK based co company with English speaking staff and I was really, really focused on providing great aftercare. And I think that this really worked with the customer because I think the customer's probably logged online and seen this and think, okay, this product might be a bit more expensive than uh, the competitors, but they know that if they've got any issues whatsoever with the product, that they can message me, they'll get somebody that's English speaking and they'll probably get a resolution quickly. So what I'd advise in your listing is that you make it clear that you're a UK based company and that you've got great customer care. So you offer a one year or two year warranty and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. Now in reality, Amazon already provides this anyway, but the customer might not actually know that. So there's no harm in actually putting in your listing and saying, we're a small company, very, very focused on the customer. We want to provide the best product and customer care possible. So we are offering a 30 day money back guarantee. You've got no worries whatsoever if you purchase from us. You're giving the customer a clear and good reason why they should pick you and not your competitors. And finally, what's really important in the initial days especially are reviews. They are so important. They provide social proof and they give confidence to the customer that what you're saying about your product is actually true. So reviews are actually pretty difficult to get, 
but in the early days what you should be doing when you very first launch is contacting you know three four five friends and asking them to purchase your product and leave you a review so what I did is I got three of my friends to buy the product and whilst it's being dispatched to them I wrote three separate reviews I made sure that the reviews were keyword heavy uh, that they went through the benefits of the product and I also made sure that the reviews um, kind of were tailored towards the customer. So if I thought a customer might have this question uh, about the product in their mind that I wasn't able to answer on the listing or it wasn't appropriate to answer on the listing, then I put that in the review. So the key thing there is I made sure that the review was really, really helpful to a new customer and would give them confidence in buying from me. But at the same time, this is so important. You've got to make sure that the review is believable. Don't write, you know, four, five, six paragraphs where if somebody sees it, they'll just think there's no way that's um, genuine. What I do instead is split it over three separate reviews. So have one review possibly talking about the benefits, the thing that you liked, and then have another review that possibly answers another question uh, that a customer might have. So guys, those are the five different things that I made sure that I absolutely nailed and really, really focused on. And honestly, it really worked for me. I generated 60,000 pounds worth of revenue in just three months and I'm confident that this year is gonna be even higher and that's just by focusing on these five different things. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you've got any comments, you can post them down below or come and join me on the Facebook group, the Amazon FBA Smashers. A link is in the description below. We'll see you for the next video.